Hello everyone, welcome back to a another video. This is another Minecraft tutorial. Uh, I am MDR Rogue. As you can see, this video is going to be mainly focused on destruction because today we are going to be taking a look at the world of TNT cannons. Now, previously, all the way back in update 1.8, I did have my very own design, which unfortunately doesn't work, and I spent so long so long, you can see over there, some of the destruction, trying to work out why it didn't work. And apparently, for some unknown reason, slabs, I had previously had slabs here, slabs don't work in TNT cannons anymore. I don't know why, um, I don't know when this changed, but they just don't. So I chose to just, um, this is like version one of the design, it was usually, it was automated and much more complicated, but as I was building it, I was realizing that, um, a manual one seems to be much more effective than an automatic or aut automated one. So this is uh, my TNT cannon design. It's pretty basic, and in today's video, we're going to be going over how to build this thing. So what you're going to need for this design is you're going to need seven dispensers, nine pieces of redstone dust, a button, two redstone repeaters, lever, about 24 um, blocks of your choice. I'm using pink concrete because why not and lots of TNT there isn't enough TNT here to, f to, to fill the whole thing just as much TNT as you can get so just gonna ha go ahead and grab all of this and we're hopping over here and start building this design by the way I do recommend doing it on a raised platform because it the blast it will actually um, as you can see from these two test results here the TNT will launch further the higher it is. I don't know, f f just physics, I guess. <laughs> so, what you're going to do is you're going to place three blocks across like this. And then you can place one, two, three, four, five, six blocks that way. Repeat this on the other side. Then you're going to grab your dispensers and place two there. Followed by one, two, three, four, five at the back. And that's all your dispenser's done. Now you want to grab your redstone and place one there, one here, one there, and your remaining redstone on top of the other dispensers. Then you're going to place a button at the back. And now over here, you're going to grab your remaining four blocks, place them in this formation, add two repeaters like this. Redstone leading into those repeaters, and a lever on the side. Now you can go ahead and fill up your. T oh, hang on! I almost forgot two blocks here as well. These two blocks here uh, stop the TNT from flying out the side here, so it's very important to have those there to keep them within here. Now, for the next stage, I forgot to put it in the chest because I'm an idiot. But you're also going to need, because I was literally just talking about them, trap doors and a water bucket. Replace these two trap doors here, and a water bucket there. This is literally the whole design. Congratulations, you just made a machine of absolute destruction in like a minute, <laughs> if that. Now what you have to do is, I think it's pretty obvious, it's just, whoops, is to just fill in all your dispensers with TNT, which I think is self-explanatory since it is a TNT cannon. And of course it's becoming night time, that's just my luck. It's just me, or does night time seem to come a lot faster? in creative than it does in survival. Hmm. Maybe that's something to do with the mechanics. Anyway, once you've fully filled up your TNT cannon with TNT, it is now ready to go. It's th it's that simple. It's This is the whole design. Congratulations. <laughs> that's it. So what you have to do is you press this button to dead start that off, click this lever a couple times, boom, and boom. Yes, lots of explosions, lots of destruction. Go destroy someone's base with it. Play a game of TNT Wars. Do whatever the heck you want with it. Um, this is my design. This is what I always use. 
Yeah, that's 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 really used to it. Except this thing is really fun to shoot. <laughs> anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have fun with this. Obviously, Minecraft is a game that's been made to have fun. They they wouldn't include TNT if they didn't want you to blow blow shit up. So go. I don't know what you'd use this for other than TNT wars, unless you're a really bad friend and want to blow up someone's base. You could do that. Unless it's some sort of factions war or something. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Really short and simple one. I just decided I'd get it out here because uh, someone commented in my previous video that they wanted me to do a tutorial on a TNT cannon. So that's how I build TNT cannon. Super simple, easy, um, all done. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.